Hey, First Baptist Flora, welcome back. Welcome back. I can't wait to say that to you in person this coming Sunday, June the 7th. And, but right now, I want to take just a couple of minutes and kind of walk through our sanctuary and show you how things are going to uh, kind of happen this coming Sunday. We know there's probably going to be a little, a few hiccups along the way or something like that, but we've been working real hard, Dwayne, and some other folks have been working real hard to make sure that we've got everything planned out for you Sunday. So we're going to walk through and kind of let you see what you're going to have uh, in front of you when you get here Sunday. And I kind of give you a little bit uh, uh, of information so you'll be ready to go when you get here. So let's go. Here's the information that you'll find. It'll tell you everything that you need to know. And you'll see all these things as we start walking through here. So let's let's keep on going. Right here on the sidewalk, if you want to drop your tithes and offerings in here, you can do that before you ever uh, go into the sanctuary. You'll come on up these steps right here. Sleep. We do want you to do the hand sanitizer. There we go. Get those hands clean. And then if you want a mask, we're not requiring masks. We're recommending masks. Uh, the staff will be wearing masks uh, this coming Sunday. But uh, if you want a mask, we'll have some available. You can certainly bring your own, uh, but they're, they're not required, but recommended that you wear a mask. So kids mask and adult mask here. If you need to grab one, they'll be here. So we'll move on inside. These doors will be open. Uh, hopefully, you won't, have to, you won't have to be touching any door handles or knobs or anything like that. And we'll move on into the sanctuary. Uh, you've registered. Uh, you've made your reservation for either the 8 o'clock or the 11 o'clock service. All of these uh, pews will be sectioned off. You see section 1 and section 2, and then over there on the other side of the other sections. And then each one of these pews has the, uh, the letter of the uh, seat that you have reserved. The green is eight, 11 o'clock. Green is 11 o'clock and the orange is eight o'clock. So for instance, if you re uh, made your reservation and you're sitting in seat J1, well, here's your spot right here. So just come in, find your seat and uh, go ahead and take your seat as soon as you get into the building. If you look here on the pews, you'll see then we've got the pool noodles. That's hard to say, pool noodles. Anywhere you see a pool noodle, either eight o'clock or 11, those seats are not available. So uh, just that's, it's just as simple as that. If you see a pool noodle, um, you don't sit there. For instance, like in this pew, pew where you will be seated, you can sit on this side of it or on that side of it. The noodle will help maintain the social distancing while you're sitting on the pew. So that's how you'll do that. Uh, you'll come in and uh, find your seat and um, uh, just enjoy the worship service. Like I said, the staff is going to be uh, having our masks on before uh, as the service goes on. Obviously, Gil and I are not going to have masks on when, I, not when I'm preaching and when Gil's leading the music. Um, but uh, if you want to wear a mask, those will be available to you. But that's how we'll do this, and you'll come in find your seat. And if you're in the refuge service, basically this will kind of be the same way that things are be set up uh, in the refuge service. Just kind of follow those uh, directions as well. You see down the middle of the uh, pews here is a rope. And um, we're gonna ask you just go ahead and stay on either side of the rope, wherever your seat is. If you just stay on that side of uh, the rope, whichever side you're seated on for the duration of service. Uh, we know when you want to hug, we know you want to shake hands. Uh, I do too, but we're not going to be doing that. We're going to ask you to just to greet each other, uh, waving at each other, hollering at each other if you have to before the service starts and enjoy fellowshipping together. As soon as the service is over, uh, we'll give you some instructions on how to uh, exit the building. And we're going to ask you to wait until you get outside uh, to enjoy fellowshipping with each other. Just go ahead and exit the building because we'll have to bring our cleaning crew in after the eight o'clock service uh, to do the cleaning and get ready uh, for the 11 o'clock service. So that's kind of how things are gonna run Sunday and uh, we're excited about being with you, looking so forward to it. Our numbers are really strong right now. People are really registering and making the reservations uh, in, a, in a great way right now to the point that we've already had to add a six o'clock service on Sunday evening uh, for another refuge service. The refuge service has maxed out already. The eight o'clock and 11 o'clock are getting closer, but there are still some seats available in those two services. But we're at, we've added a six o'clock refuge service for more people to be able to come to church Sunday. 
because we're thankful that we're going to be back together. I'm so glad that you're ready to be back. We're ready to be back. Looking forward to a great time together as we worship the Lord this coming Sunday. So welcome back. Look forward to seeing you.